Today I'm going to show you guys a good way to farm schematics and uh, also just get good XP. Um, it's also just kind of a fun activity to do. Uh, in order to do it, it's pretty much going to be just fighting the uh, Candy Storm King. I'm just going to solo it today, which is relatively easy for me. Um, it's only level 70, you know, power level 133, so I'm almost double the recommended power level. But if you're a lower power level, um, I'd definitely recommend teaming up with some friends or you know, even just running it on a public match to try and get some other players in there to help you. But this is actually how I got my Xenon bow. Um, he's pretty easy to defeat once you uh, you know know how to run it properly. I usually finish about four or five minutes, so that's not bad. He'll usually drop uh, you know three to four schematic or evolution material caches. So definitely not a bad way to farm. Now, I have the Mythic Storm King weapons, um, so I use those for this fight, but if you don't, there are alternatives. Uh, a good combination that I've seen a lot of people use is the Bundle Bus, along with the Surround Pound, for when you actually have to build up to break the horns. But um, you can just watch how I run it, and then, you know, obviously substitute your own weapons in, or whatever works best for you personally. But this is just how I like to do it, so I think it's a little bit easier with the Storm King weapons. So I'll normally use the launcher on the horns, and then the hammer, or I'm sorry, the, the launcher for the crystals, then this hammer on the horns. Uh, so if he's moving around a lot, sometimes I'll switch to this thing, but... Now, something I learned to do when I was fighting the Mythic Storm King is edit your walls into these sort of shapes, uh, just so you build up, and then, you know, whatever husks are walking around on the ground can't really hit you as much. So, there's a crystal, so we gotta break these, and he'll go down. Okay, hit it with this thing. There's one. And the horns will appear on different locations sometimes, so um, you'll see that. Just kind of keep an eye out. You should get them up. So there we go. We broke all three horns. Uh, he's gonna be going down here. So just gotta keep an eye out, see where he falls, and then build up and uh, use melee damage to break the horn. So the builds are always kind of weird here. Now, as long as you get up here quick enough and you're you know, dealing constant damage to this, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. So, sometimes I'll get knocked down from below, so I'll have to build back up. Uh, it all depends if I can anchor my builds well enough to you know, get up to it in the first place. So, each run is a little bit different. Yep, there it is. Just got knocked down. So, no big deal. Uh, I'm just going to build up again quick and hopefully finish it off here. Alright, there's the first horn. So now he's gonna come up, uh, you know, kind of recharge a little bit. He'll do this spin thing. And then, uh, kind of throw a shockwave back. There's no way to dodge this attack, so you, you're just gonna get hit regardless. So, then we just gotta do the same thing, uh, all over again. Break three more crystals. There's one. There's two. And there's the last one. So same thing, looks like he's gonna go down again. Uh, just gotta find out where and then you know, build up to him. Like I said, uh, the best alternative, in my opinion, for the Storm King's weapon is going to be the Surround Pound. That's what I would always use previously until I was able to get this weapon, so uh, it 
that's pretty well for me. Oh, he's keep knocking me down today. Oh, no big deal, should be able to finish it off here. Alright, there we go. Then you'll see a health bar appear at the top of the screen. Uh, now you just shoot him and you know, gotta finish him off, so. And there we go, that's the Candy Storm King. Uh, once you beat him, you want to run over to here. This is where he drops all his caches. Uh, looks like this time we got a purple, two evos, and a perk cache. I guess that makes you the king of the Sometimes you'll get a gold schematic cache. Uh, that's how I was able to get my Xenon bow, but it took me, you know, probably 30 to 40 runs before I got the Xenon. So gold caches are kind of rare from him. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll post more soon. And uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.